honey, that's your rook. You can't move that way. Why not? Because whoever invented this game said so. That's not fair. Oh, sorry, those are the rules. Can I change the rules? You may not. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Can I do this? Uh, yep. Totally legal. But then I'm going to do this. <laughs> Who wants some cookies? Now this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Honey, try your bishop. See the opening? Yeah. You have to anticipate your opponent's move. Always think two or three steps ahead. That's how you win. It's awfully windy all of a sudden. Get me into the attic and close the door behind you. George. Go. Do it now. Mom, what's wrong? Come on. Don't turn around. Come on. If you're looking for the girl, she's not here anymore. I've already called the cops, so you might want to get a move on. Adam, I'd say six three, six four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen him lurking around here with a few of his friends. Can we go out now? Not yet, honey. No, unfortunately, I did not get a good look at his face. Doors are all locked, family's up in the attic. Now we'll just stay put until you guys arrive. Oh, it's just daddy. Shh. Cops are sending somebody over to check things out. So we're just gonna camp out up here for a minute, okay? I'm scared. Oh, sweetheart, don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. It's all right. It's probably the police entering the house. They know we're up here. Seven forty-seven, ten ninety-seven, ten four. I'm at the front of the residence. Copy. Dispatch. I have an open front door. Seven forty-seven. What's your status? Seven forty-seven. I'll be on the second floor. Now entering the attic space. Two adult bodies, both deceased. There should be a little girl. Is she there? Negative. We may have a missing girl on our hands. <sighs> 1081, 520, Crescent Moon, immediate backup. In the darkness, a missing girl grew up. 
there's a legend haunting these streets. About a secret society of shadow lurkers. And their rivals, the lamp bearers. Echoes of their secret war ripple throughout the city like a ghostly serenade. Both factions wield great magic. One holding the power of death, the other, life. and just what awaits us in the darkness. And is there any light left at all? favor. Carl. Hi. Uh, I'm actually... We're firing Putin today, and I need you to do it. Firing Janet? Shh. Yes, we're firing Janet, okay? We don't want to tell the whole office. Why? Why? Look at her. She literally does that all day long. Almost impressive how inefficient she is. Yeah, but why me? Why do I have to be the one to break it to her? Because I'm her manager, okay? It'd be awkward if I did it. Everybody knows she looks up to me. Yeah, doesn't that mean it would be easier coming from you? No, it wouldn't make it easier coming from me. It'd be easier coming from you, because then you fire, and then she won't know I fired her. Yeah, okay. Carl, I'm, I'm not really over Janet. Well, look, think of it this way. It's a proxy firing, okay? You're not really firing, firing her. It's a proxy firing. It's sort of like somebody else is firing her, and then you get to be the one that tells her she's fired, but you're not getting blamed for it. It's a great plan. Look, you got this, all right? I don't think I do, but at, at the end of the day, she's, she's still fired. You got it. It's nothing to it, all right? Just make sure you've done it by the end of the day, okay? Good man. Marcus, with all due respect, I don't think you're even allowed to fire me. Yes, I realize that. Um, I'm actually Carl's proxy in this situation. It was his idea. I mean, why not fire Pedro? He barely speaks freaking English. Well, Pedro's actually from Anaheim. I mean, dude just spends all day hanging out in the break room smoking weed. It's, uh, it, it's actually just vaping, and they allow that. Carl asked for your key card before you go. This is just so freaking unfair. I mean, why are they even firing me anyways? Can I get a reason? I believe it has something to do with the gratuitous use of your cell phone at work. I, I know, I think it's unfair, too. I, I don't agree with it. Um, would you like to get something to eat? After work, we can talk about it. You know what, Marcus? You can eat shit. I'm out of here. So that's a no. Hi. Hi. You okay? Get in. You okay? He's in his room. You're super late. Yeah. Sorry, I got stuck at work having to fire someone who doesn't even work for me. Tell your mom she can dock my pay. I thought we didn't pay you. Oh, you don't. As it turns out, volunteering for Big Brother wasn't the best career choice after all. Har, har, har. 
Is it a new comic? It's an underground. They say it's based on a true story. Really? Shadow Lurker. Yeah, it's about this secret group called the Fellowship of the Fallen. You ever heard of it? Uh, no. If I had, it wouldn't be much of a secret, would it? They're like these creepy assassins who don't take crap from anybody. The one guy, he lights people on fire, then hangs them from light poles. Well, that's disturbing. So in what way is this a true story again? A few towns over, they found these bodies. Guess how they died. I'm guessing light poles were involved? You look scared. I'm not scared, you're scared. <laughs> anyway, here's the update. Oh, very nice. You've been working hard since last week. Uh, it's not even good. I'm just messing around. No, Inspector's amazing. And the shadowing? Yeah. Here, let me show you something. See, with the wings, you just gotta layer them a little bit. Then you can just mess around, right? That's not completely terrible, I guess. No, but you were doing a better job, so here. <laughs> so, did you bring my money to lose to me in poker? Oh, come on. Have you rented out your spare room yet? No, not yet. I'm still working on the flyer. I haven't found the perfect font just yet. Why'd you buy such a big house in the first place? Seems like a waste of space, dude. Well, because I want a big family someday, and families need big houses. Why's that? To do family stuff. Sounds a bit premature, if you ask me. Well, I didn't. I'm just saying you might want to find a girl first. Ouch, Troy. Way to rip off the Band-Aid, dude. So no offense, but don't you ever get tired of coming over here when you could be doing something cool instead? I mean, it's almost like you have no life at all. Troy, I've got so much going on right now, it would blow your mind. Mm-hmm. What do you do again? I am the associate art director at Taylor Pharmaceuticals. What's that mean? I create ads for boner pills. Oh, right. I uh, see why they chose you. Having a little trouble down there? That's low. Sorry. Below the belt. <laughs> you know, you're not the only junior artist in need of a mentor. I'm just messing around. No need to get all sassy. Hey, did you ever ask that girl out? What girl? Uh, the one from work you told me about. What's her name again? Oh, uh, Janet. Never was an early riser Used to be an up all nighter Never saw the morning light Quite like I do now Never said no to a party Never started saving money But everything is different What's up? Yo, Pedro, nothing. Just lowering my IQ. I see that. I see that. Grab a schmuck. Come on. When do you get work done? You know, I would answer that ad. Yeah, why don't you just come live with me? I keep asking you. It's because my roommates get me. You live with your parents, Pedro. Exactly. Free rent, free groceries. They cook for me time to time. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Whoever that is, I would say the answer is yes. Just looking at the fire. Hey, what's she doing? Uh, she's calling me, dude. Answer it, dude. Um, hi, hello? Yeah, I'm calling about the rental, the one from the flyer. Um, yes, this is, this is the right number. Is this near the bus station? Um, yeah, maybe, maybe a few blocks. I don't know, I don't take the bus. I'm not bragging about that, I just, um, I have a car, so. When can I come see it? I'm actually 
not at home right now. Is that you waving at me? Yeah. That was like phone inception. It's weird, right? Hi, my name's Marcus. This is my colleague, Sam. We call him Pedro. ¿Qué le pasa a este tipo? So what, do you guys just stand here all day waiting for somebody to answer your ad? No, 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 just you. I didn't mean it like that. I, uh, we, um, we work in this building, so. So. I'm just looking for a place to crash. It's not long-term or anything. I hope that's okay. I, I figured you were asking for someone else. I mean, that's totally cool. Um, so you want to rent my room? I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Right, of course. Um, well, I can show you sometime this weekend. I was hoping sooner. How much sooner? Tonight. Wow, that's uh, so immediate. Um, tonight, I, uh, I don't know, I'll have to check my schedule. So do you want me to wait? What? While you check your schedule. Do you want me to wait? Actually, uh, tonight's fine. Um, yeah, should I just text you the address? Six good? Yep, sure. We'll see you then. Is it just me or is there something very off about that girl? Maybe. It's pretty hot though. Yeah, like a murdery kind of way. Should I actually go through with this? Dude, she's like a hundred pounds. What's she gonna do? Tie you up and steal your Xbox? That's not weed, is it? Nice flowers. Did you kill them yourself? Yeah, sorry about that. Um, you can feel free to, you know, put your own touches on the space. Are those blackout curtains? Um, yeah, I think so. Is that the problem? How much is the rent? Six fifty. That includes you. 
Does the thing work? This? Uh, no. Trying to spy on me? Of course not. It's not even plugged in. I can take it out if you want. I, sorry, there's not a TV or anything. I. Six twenty-five. A lot of the stuff in this house is from my parents' place, actually. Like they just gave it to me when I bought the place, and uh, you know I've been trying to put my own thing on it. That's from online, <laughs> you know. Um, I cleared out the bottom two shelves in the fridge for you, if you want. These are, you know, have at it. Remind me to get you the Wi-Fi password. Uh, there's a private bathroom uh, you can have all to yourself down the hallway here. I gotta say, it's, it's a little weird having a roommate again. What? I said it's it's a little, um, how, how long do you think you might want to stay? Not sure yet. Okay, you know, we'll play it by ear. You know, I don't think I ever got your name. It's Mia. Hey, Mia? Mia, uh, there's some food left over, if you want some. Uh, okay, I'll just leave it out if, if you ever want some. It's, uh, Marcus. I, uh, I listen to music sometimes when I sleep, so if it ever gets too loud, let me know. Okay. Good night. Jerry, what's going on, brother? Huh? What's poppin'? Hopefully nothing pills. There he is. Hi, Pedro. So, spill the beans, how's the new roommate? I don't know, man. She's got this weird aura of sadness about her. It's haunting. Well, most girls her age are a hurricane of emotions, so I just give it time. I told her a joke the other day. She just stared at me for like a full minute. She was trying to decide whether or not to stab me in the face. Just like deadpan? That's creepy. Maybe your joke wasn't funny. No, it was funny. It was the one about the neutron who orders a beer. <laughs> yeah. No charge for you. <laughs> yeah, that one's funny. That one's good. <laughs> Maybe, and this is out there. Maybe she's a robot. Today's technology, very possible. Artificial intelligence, she's probably spying on you. Just saying. There's something in her eyes, like something violent. I don't think the girl's ever smiled a day in her life. That's it. Personal challenge. Make her smile. It's beautiful. Is that really the job of a landlord? I mean, I'm pretty sure my only job is to make sure she has a nice, safe space to live while pretending she's not insanely attractive. Yeah, she's sizzling. And you live with her. I couldn't do that. That's tough. Yeah, but her shitty attitude makes it easier. God, I've had crazy roommates before, but this girl's like next level. Mm, stage five? Well, bright side is, she hasn't tried to stab you in the face. Yet. Yeah, of course I'm coming. I haven't seen you and Dad since what, like June? Yeah. Did my roommate leave my door open? 
No, let me call you right back. Mia? Mia? Hello? Enter Peter's All-American Sweepstakes with a grocery purchase of $50 or more. Hey Mia, did you? Oh my God, are you okay? Is that blood, Mia? Do I need to call 911 or something? Wait, you really think this girl's a drug pusher? I am 99% sure she's selling crack cocaine. Yes. What makes you so sure? Well, for starters, she goes out every single night with this backpack, like not a purse, an actual backpack. And then every time she comes home, she's completely strung out. The other day, she fell down upon coming in the door. And I'm pretty sure she had blood on her. Like actual blood, real blood. Oh, and get this, her part of the fridge is completely empty. She's never had anything in it. And I've never seen her eat anything. Isn't that suspicious? Maybe she eats out. Maybe. If she's dangerous, just give her the boot. It's your house. I can't just kick somebody out without proof. So I need to get video of her selling the hooch. Hooch is moonshine. Smack. Watch your flank, watch your flank. Oh, that was close. Hey, you're just being paranoid. I seriously doubt a girl like that would be pushing smack. Maybe, I guess. You know, she's probably a prostitute. You know, I never thought of that. Huh, how would I find out? Perfume, they always load it on. Troy, it concerns me how much you know about this subject. I think I'm failing as a big brother. Nah, I just watch a lot of TV. How you want a fry? No, thanks. Hey, was that, is that Chanel you're wearing? What? Perfume. You just smell kind of nicely. direction. My place is this way. Right. Hey, princess, where you going? We get a little tied up tonight? Hey, we were talking to you. Guys, let's get out of here. Come on. Let's roll out. You should smile more. Let's go.
Um, hello. Hey. Rough night? No, no. Just, you know, the usual. So, um, last night, did you follow me? What? Last night, you followed me. I'm not mad, I just want to know why. No, no, I don't know where you got that idea. I was, I was here all night. Okay, honestly, yeah, I, I followed you. I mean, really, I was just worried about you. I mean, haven't you been watching the news? It's not safe for pretty girls to walk around. It, I didn't mean that. I, it's not that you're not. I, it's, it's just, it's not safe to walk around at night. I mean, if something happened to you, I'd be at six fifty a month. So. I see. Mia, wait. I followed you because I wanted to see if you were selling drugs. I'm sorry. I needed to know. So what did you see? I saw a very nice looking person come to the door and then I saw you both go inside and it definitely didn't look like they were buying crack. <laughs> and I, I left. Is that all? You didn't see anything else? Hmm. I wasn't selling crack to that woman. Okay. Good to know. You ever killed anybody? You mean this week? <laughs> all right. Sorry for all the paranoia. So you good here? You don't want me to leave? No, don't be crazy. Not you. I didn't mean you're not crazy. Just that the thing that you just said. Are you sure nobody followed you last night? Um, yeah. Pretty sure. Why? Are you on the run or something? Aren't we all? I'm hitting the sack. Nine in the morning? Of course you are. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Yeah, maybe. No, no, that's not all I got. This is not safe. No, I'll show you. <laughs> See, why you gotta doubt me like that, huh? <laughs> hey, can I ask you a guy question? Yeah, I suppose I qualify. Nah, forget it. No, what's going on? Okay, but it's embarrassing. What's up? Uh, so there's this one girl at school who talks to me sometimes, and I'm sort of into her, you know, but I, I don't know if she's just being nice or whatever. She probably is, you know how girls are. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just want her to see me as a regular guy, you know, which isn't easy. Well, here's something that always works, and it's super simple. You're gonna get a lot of mileage out of this, though. You just gotta make her laugh. So just be funny? I'm already hysterical. <laughs> that, and never be rude. And don't make her think that you like her too much. She'll hate that. Just always gotta keep an element of mystery. Mystery? You can do mystery. Hey, I was thinking about your weird roommate the other night. Speaking of mystery, yeah, go ahead. You know, honestly, I'm surprised it took me this long to figure it out. I mean, this one's super obvious. Okay, can't wait to hear this one. It's my professional opinion that she's a shadow lurker. She's a shadow lurker? So she's the one who's been going around torching people. Oh, crap, dude. 
I left some matches on the table this morning. How many people do you think she's killed? Well, they don't usually burn people. I mean, most of them like to, you know, sneak up on you and use a knife or something. Fantastic. No. You should really look into this. Before it's too late. Okay, Troy. I totally will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into it. According to a legend, the Fellowship of the Fallen began in the ancient city of Salem, where Lord Tenebris and his assassins overthrew an oppressive king and executed him, along with most of his subjects. They later fled Salem for unknown reasons and became known as shadow workers due to their nature of intense secrecy. Secrecy, check. Right, okay, this is where it gets really crazy, okay? So they refer to this dude as the Magic King, right? So before the Fellowship took over, apparently he put all of his remaining power into these lanterns and sent them out in secret. And then they became known as Salem's Light. What if one of those lights is still out there? Mm -hmm. But somebody keeps deleting all these websites. Like every time I get a good hit, it's gone in 24 hours. Wait, so why would an evil king share his power and part of my friend share with a bunch of a-holes anyways? That's the thing. It's like the bad guys are telling the whole story. It's a legitimate conspiracy. Or it's just a bunch of kids trolling on the internet. What's up? You see that? She's warming up to me. Clearly. All right, let's bring it back, though. Let's bring it back. So do you actually believe this stuff? No, of course not. But Troy's got all this stuff in my head. And then with all this copycat killing from, I don't know, it's weird. You said that Mia carries a backpack everywhere she goes, right? Mm-hmm. So what if, maybe, maybe, you happen to accidentally just Take a little peek. No. Just a little sneaky peek. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's an invasion of privacy. Is it? Yeah. Hear me out. Backpack out in the open. No. Zipper's open as no. well. Oops, I bumped into it. Scatters all over the floor. I'm not gonna do Let that. me help you pick that up. No. Ooh, and now I'm seeing everything she's got. I can't. We have a relationship based on trust. Do you? No, not at all, actually. I don't trust her as far as I can throw her, but we should. She's my tenant. Well, then let me do it. No. Damn. Drop something. Think you dropped your wallet there. I want to hang on to that. Wow, thank you. Shallow pockets, I guess. Mm -hmm. What kind of mileage you get in that thing? M mileage? Um, I don't know. Fine, I guess. 
Well, make sure you keep those doors locked. There's a lot of assholes running around, causing trouble. I do. Hell, you been watching the news? They found another body a few blocks over. All burnt up and shit. Whatever happened to the basics? Cut and go. Nobody even knew you were there. I guess these things are too old fashioned now. Do I know you? Sorry, you just look oddly familiar. Well, let's see. You know Reggie, right? Uh, lives up on Highland Avenue. No, I, I'm afraid I don't know Reggie. Huh. Well, let's see. Um, thank you for the wallet. Appreciate it. How about Omia? Do you know her? You know, it takes a lot of trust to let a stranger into your house. Not that I blame you. I mean, sure easy to look at. Keep those doors locked. Hey, Marcus, you, uh, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Well, you look a little tired, that's all. I just didn't get that much sleep last night. It was kind of a long night. Oh, well, I hope whatever her name is, you gave her a little rest every now and then, huh? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't massively inappropriate. Mia! Mia! Can you open the door, please? I'm coming in. Mia! We need to talk. Okay. I think it's best that you leave. Oh, do you need some privacy or something? No, I mean, I think it'd be better if you found another place to stay. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. I just, it's, it's not working out. Is it the music? I had headphones, but they... No, listen. I don't care about whatever weird scene you're into, but it's actually starting to affect my life now. I don't really know what you're trying to say, and why are you yelling at because me? Because ever since you showed up, my life has gotten increasingly bizarre, and now your crazy, I don't know, ex or something just showed up and threatened my me. My what? Sorry. I'm done, okay? This is too much. I really don't understand what you're trying to tell me. Look, just tell me the truth. Are you selling drugs? If you're not selling drugs, then why are you going into all these neighborhoods every night? That's my personal business. No, not anymore. I don't feel safe with you in my home. Why all the secrecy? Hard to explain. Then I'm sorry, but you have to leave. Marcus, please. <sighs> Don't you have friends, anyone, other than some guy you barely know? Well, my friends all want to kill me. Yeah, well, I can see why. Sorry, I didn't mean that. You really not have anybody? I'm sorry, I yelled at you. But. I need some answers, Mia. Are you in trouble? I'll take you to a crisis center or something if you're in trouble. Don't worry about the You rent. really want to know where I go at night? Tomorrow night you can come with me, and then you'll see. No, or you can just tell me. No, it's better if you see. Okay. All right. Well, Good night.
I think I'm gonna throw up. Deep breaths. Come on, let me hear one, inhale. Inhale, exhale. Here's the situation at hand. You've been wanting to find out where she's been going. And now, she is giving you that opportunity. Yeah, but I don't want to die either. I mean, maybe she's planning an ambush or something. Yeah, I could totally see that happening. Thank you for your words of encouragement. Anytime. I could always come along and hold your hand. I'm gonna end up tied to a light pole and you're gonna feel bad about making that comment. Not if you manifested it first. So how about you just relax, calm down, because you're bringing a lot of negativity into the zone and I'm not feeling it, I can't do that today. You came into my zone, I was, I was here first. And this isn't negativity, I'm scared, okay? And I don't know why I'm scared. I don't know why I'm more scared now than when I thought she was a drug dealer. The fear of the unknown is a scary place to live. Also, it sounds like you have feelings for her. What? No. And if you didn't like her, you wouldn't care. Shut up. She's my roommate. That was very convincing. Should probably go to the bathroom, calm down, splash some water on her face. No. Poor guy. Embezzlement charges would be dropped. In other news, police are on the lookout for three suspects in a recent murder of a homeless man who had been tied to a light pole on Division Street and set on fire. If you live in or near the area of Estes Hill, authorities are urging you to take extreme caution when traveling after nightfall. Ready? Yep. You know you really don't have to do this. No, oh, I'm good. Cool. Let's uh let's go. So you're sure this is the right one? Yeah, why? Do you mind kind of telling me what we're getting into here? Who are these people? Do you know them? Are they friends of yours? Neither of those things. Mia. You really don't have to do this. I kind of do. I'm here now. I might as well come with you. I know. I know. You're an AA, aren't you? And this is a step when you go around apologizing to everyone that you treated poorly when you were drunk. Is that right? Nope. Okay, do you have any idea how long this will take? I don't know, but Marcus, can you please not say anything? You're just here to observe. Yeah, okay. Observe, got it. Oh, and if anything crazy happens, just run to the car. I'll find my way back home. Wait, what? Doesn't look like anybody's home. Can I help you guys? Um, yes. My name is Mia, and this is Marcus, my landlord. Um, this is gonna sound strange, but I'm here to see Autumn. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. It's late. I knew her father. Please, it'll just take a minute. All right. Hun! Hun, could you come down here, please? Hun! She'll be down in just a minute. Hun! Coming. What is this? Why'd you let her in? 
she said she knew your brother. Um, I'm sorry it's so late, but I would like to see her if that's okay. Why are you here? Why are you in our home? I know who you are. I'm not here to hurt anyone. I promise. We don't want any trouble from you people. And the neighbors will hear me if I shout. No, no, I'm alone. They're not with me, and that's not why I'm here. Why are you here? I'm here for Autumn. You're not taking that girl. I didn't come to take her. I came to help. You're lying. If I were lying, would I be wearing this? How bad is it? Hey, not feeling too good. She has a heart condition. Be careful. My name is Mia. What's your name? Autumn. Autumn? That's such a pretty name. Autumn, can I tell you a bedtime story? Yeah. There was once a little girl who had no family to love her. All she ever wanted was to find a place where she belonged. Then after a few years, this really nice couple told her that she could stay with them. They taught her how to play chess and how to ride a bike. She was so happy. But that didn't last for very long. You see these really bad people came and told her that they were her new family and that they were going to protect her and love her forever. They got her all kinds of gifts and dazzled her with magic. Just pretty soon she forgot all about the nice couple. You see, her family was so amazing that they fooled her into using the magic that they had taught her. When she got old enough, she realized how bad they were. She ran away, but guess what? She found a beautiful, safe castle with a really nice owner. She even brought her magic with her. Autumn, can you trust me for a minute? This is what you've been doing every night, huh? Disappointed? No. Although now I kind of wish you were a drug dealer and then I could ask for some Xanax. You, you really don't look that great, are you okay? I'm fine. How do you know that family in there? Adam's dad was killed, and I heard she was staying with her aunt. How did you know her dad got killed? Because I was there when they did it. Look, Marcus. We did a lot of bad things. But I'm here to make amends. Those people in my story, they care a lot about secrecy. When someone starts snooping around, it's better you don't know much more than that. 
I don't get it. You were just a kid. They like to coerce street kids. Maybe because we don't have much attachment, but we're also pretty used to violence. That was a bonus. Mia, that girl in there, you healed her. She's better now. Yep. Mia, that's insane. Yeah. How are you so casual about this? Trust me to get used to it. Is it all the same? Uh, do you always know what's going to happen when you do that? Sometimes they see visions. This one time, this guy's bullet wound healed up on its own. Jesus. All right. Uh, where are we going next? Oh, no, I can't do that again. It would kill me. We kill you? What do you mean it would kill you? My powers don't work that way. I'm not using them how they were supposed to be used. It takes about a day or so to recharge because my body really takes a hit. So if I wanted to kill you, now's my chance. You wish. You okay? Ancient records are inconclusive as to the identity of the so-called Magic King. Although some contemporary historians have concluded the king was a murderous tyrant, other records contradict this account. <sighs> In Shadow Lurker mythology, the Fellowship of the Fallen are regarded as great heroes during Salem's conquest. They might have easily been the villains. not good. Hey, can I show you something? It's from the night I followed you. I think that's the same guy who showed up at my work. How in the world did he find me here? How are you not more alarmed by this? Oh, that's just Kelly. He's like my big brother. When we were in foster together, he used to protect me from the older kids. Kelly wouldn't hurt me in a million years. Are you sure about that? Because this guy probably knows where I live. If Kelly had bad intentions, neither of us would be sitting here right now. Yeah, it's just he didn't strike me as all that friendly. I didn't say he was friendly. I said he wouldn't hurt me. We haven't seen each other in a while. He's probably trying to see if I'm okay. Even if that means harassing my friend at work. Friend? You know, I never did thank you for letting me stay here. I had been crashing at this warehouse a few blocks away from your office. You were living in a warehouse? I think we should get some rest. I haven't seen you around much lately. I'm starting to worry. I'm here, as always. Yeah. I had to guess. I'd say not for long. They gave us a gift. A gift? <sighs> Look, you know our policy. You can walk away anytime you want. But you'll also be walking away from all the protection you've been enjoying for so long. And I promise you, the world is a scary place where you don't have juice running through your hands and a hundred men covering your back. I'm not afraid. I know. I know you're not. What's the problem?
Hey, dude, what's up? I'm just getting ready for school. Nothing too important. I just had a question about that comic book. You were telling me about. Shoot. So these shadow lurkers, do they all have magical powers or what? Well, kinda. I mean, the more powerful ones have relics or whatnot, so a, a robe or a ring or like a, like a bracelet. Dude, you sound scared. Did I get to you? Uh, one more question. How would you kill one? Like, if they were after you? I don't know, man. I mean, uh, I only have the one issue, but if I had to guess, I'd say you can't. OK, but in theory. Well, you pretty much can't, unless, unless what? I don't know. Maybe if it was another Shadow Lurker, I bet they could kill each other, but it's only a guess. Well, of a sudden interest. I got to go. Hey, Marcus, uh, can I borrow you for a second? Yeah. Use a break. Wait, say that again? You're fired, Marcus. And I know. I know. It totally sucks, man, and I'm really sorry. You're serious? This isn't a joke? I'm afraid not. You're not even allowed to fire me. We're colleagues. I know, but right now I'm acting as Carl's proxy in this situation. Thought it'd be easier on you because you do look up to him so much. Nobody looks up to Carl. I got a mortgage, man. Like, what the hell? Can I even get a reason why they're letting me go? He said something about you being too passive, but to be honest, I wasn't really listening. I'm too passive, and you, they're letting you stay. Afraid so. And I'm too passive. You look like you're asleep. And half the time I am. And that's the funny part, but the world's just not a fair place, Marcus. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being a great friend. And don't get too comfortable. Next, you're gonna be in here getting fired by the damn janitor. Nice half-assed man bun. It's a half out, dude. All right, fellas. You know the rules. Got the flock coming up. Pot's good. Bet's on you, Tommy. Hey, house rules. No bullshit, fellas. You want to talk about some bullshit? What happened with that homeless person? Man, we had the rope ready. You guys got in my way. We had the rope. I was ready. You... Yeah, we got in his Bullshit. way. Bullshit. Right. <laughs> I raised. Yeah. I mean, but when it comes to killing homeless guys, my bet's not on you, though. What are you saying? I'm too chicken shit to do it? That's exactly what we're saying. We were all there. I think I can hang, and I think I can kill any man any day of the week. Shit, sure, you might have something. Like it's on you. Like you all right? Stand up. Kelly, I, did, I mean, I didn't know you were coming by. You know, there's a thing called discretion. And only wild dogs attack before they signal a warning. What, all that, all that crap on the news? Man, that wasn't us. I'm gonna make this vividly clear to all of you. You are not one of us. You attack at random, tying people up on poles. Kelly, man, with respect, man, I, I, I didn't. Your little gang is causing unwanted attention. And unfortunately, you can't join us. You don't even know the basics. Look, man, we're gonna stop everything. Yeah, man, it's not a big deal. I know. Step forward. Tommy, I 
want you to grip the handle of this knife as tight as you can, pin it to the floor. Go ahead. Now, hold it there. Don't move. Kneel down for me. Good. Now, I want you to fall. That's right. Go ahead. Kelly, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Fall on the knife. Dazzle us with your amazing powers. Kelly, please, don't make me do this. I'm not gonna ask you again. Kelly, I'm sorry. You. Push him. Push him or you're next. Wait. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Get up. I just want to mess with you a little bit. All right? Oh my God. Come on. Look at your face. Now I'm sorry. It won't ever happen again. You know, on second thought. <laughs> I lost my job today. I'm sorry. Probably for the best. I mean, it paid well, but... You know, I never needed that much. I never needed an awesome career or even this house. No, that never really mattered to me. Well, what did matter? I don't know. I guess... I guess all I ever really wanted was a big Italian family, like the one I grew up with. But my own, you know? Someone to come home to, someone to fight for. So anyway, for now I just volunteer. I mentor this kid named Troy who probably knows more about life than I do. Wait, you mentor kids? You know, his dad passed away when he was six and his mom got into drugs. And she's been clean for a while now, but yeah, I don't know. I just go hang out with him. I listen, mostly. Most people don't need or want advice or anything. They just want to know someone's listening. I really could have used someone like that growing up. 
Oh, by the way, I went to the thrift store today and I was looking for some headphones and I found some of these. This is what I use. Yeah, I saw you using them the other day. Thought you might need some new ones. Wait, these, these are for me? Yeah. Do you like them? Yeah. Wow, thank you. That's very kind. Have you had dinner? No, just beer, mostly. Do you want me to make something? You cook? Well, do you want eggs? I could eat eggs. Let's do that. Never was an early riser. Used to be an up all night. Never saw the morning light quite like I do now. Never said no to a nope. part. No, that is a bad idea. Never started That's a bad saving idea. money. She's your roommate. Everything is different nope. since you've been around. It's a way you're smiling. Go to bed. Go to bed. No. Mm. It's in the way you hold my hand. It's a way I've watched you change me from a boy into a man. It's a million things about you. And I There's a draft. I should take a look. Are you so cold? A little. What? Nothing. What's that look for? No, it's nothing. I just had too many beers. How many did you have? Two and a half. Oh, that's excessive. All right. So I have a bone to pick with you. Here we go. So here it is. Imagine there's this guy. And he's really smart and very charming and remarkably well-dressed. But he's spent his entire life looking down at his shoes. Like every day, year after year, all he sees is shoes and pavement and gum wrappers and then one day someone comes along and grabs him by the face and forces him to look up and all of a sudden he sees people and trees and clouds all these things he, he has no context for and he has to admit that he never knew anything at all. Are you sorry you looked up? I honestly don't know. I think I'm gonna go back to my room, if that's okay with you. Good night. Good night, Marcus.
Kelly? A long time, butterfly. Listen, Kelly, I really appreciate what you're doing. It means a lot that you still have my back. Right. You're not protecting me, are you? Trust me. I am. Just not in the way you think. Don't tell me they sent you to track me. Nobody has to know that I found you. That can be our little secret. But we all know what you've been up to, Butterfly. I'm not going back. I'm not asking you to go back. I wouldn't let you anyway. I just need you to stop all of this. All what? All this. You don't have to wear the robe, but you need to stop with these visits. You gave up everything. For what? I can show you. That is precious. Really? Give me a lamp to light my path. You don't know what you think. I know you left the only family you had for some dead legacy. And now you're all alone. It's only you. They lied to us. They lied to us our whole lives. How can you not see that? Listen, you surrender the piece of jewelry on your wrist, and we can forget about everything. That you, your little man, can run off into the sunset. And if I don't? You think you're special. You're just a shadow of the girl I knew. The vanishing mist. Kelly. Got a surprise in store for old Marcus. Sent out the first welcoming gift already. He's not like us. Coffee's on me. Don't tell me I'm moving out. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, I should have told you. I'm actually going to visit my parents this weekend. Thing we do every year, the whole family gets together, cousins come in from out of town, and everybody just eats a bunch of food. It's cool. What? Nothing. No, what is it? I don't know, I was thinking maybe I can 
come with you? You want to come to a, my family thing with me? You know what? Yeah. I think it's a good idea. That's a three hour drive anyway. I could use the company. <laughs> looking for you. I don't think I can take any more of my dad's jokes. Your family is so nice. I can't believe they're real. Yeah, they're okay. What's wrong? Have you ever made a really big change in your life and wondered if it was the right decision? You mean other than letting some weirdo move into my house? No. Come dance with me. I'm serious. You look like you need cheering up and not to brag, but I'm kind of awesome. Cheering people up or dancing? Well, both. Actually, neither, really. Never used to get excited to Sit here in the silence Holding on to something The way I'm holding you Didn't used to know how fast time Walks and runs and flies by Never thought I'd feel so deeply but damn, I do. I was so wrong about you. It's the way you're smiling at me. It's in the way you hold my hand. It's the way I've watched you change me from a boy into a man. It's a million things about you, and I don't know what it is, but I have never known. Hey, Troy, it's Marcus. Again, uh, just. Seeing what's up. Okay, give me a call back whenever you get this. Thanks. They're still not picking up? No. I don't get it. It's not like either of them. Do you mind if we stop by there? No, of course not. Does anybody look home? Maybe they went on vacation. Hello? I'm coming in. It's Marcus. Sydney! Troy! Sydney? Hello? 
Sydney. Where's Troy? Dude. Now, I'm still getting used to it myself. It's pretty crazy. I had no idea I was this tall. Okay. You're gonna have to explain to me how it is you're standing right now. Oh, I think you know the answer to that. You like it? I think it suits me. Anyway, now I know why you were asking me all those questions the other day. Whoever wrote that comic book knew something, and now we know it too. It's not why I was asking you questions. You wanted to know how to kill one, right? Because of her? I don't want to kill anybody, Troy. You know me better than that. I know your girlfriend there knows a lot about killing. Did she tell you? Come on, Troy. We're not doing this. Did she tell you what she used to do with those hands? She's literally the touch of death, Marcus. Take that off. Come make me. Marcus, don't get near him. Who asked you, whore? You're a traitor anyway. Boy, listen to me. I know them better than you do. They're just using you. I know what they told you, and I know you feel so strong and so free right now. But they don't tell you the cost. Could you shut her up, please? She's right, man. They're just using you. Fine. I'll do it myself. Dude. Seriously, dude? You're picking this traitor over me? I thought we were brothers. We'll be brothers again, just not like this. I can't go back. I'm not going back to that chair. If I have to break every bone in her body, I will, and trust me, I can. Yeah. Touch me and I'll kill you. He told you to embrace your freedom, right? That nobody could ever hurt you again. No more bullies. No more rejection. Don't move. Marcus talks about you all the time. There is kindness in you. Don't let them take that away. I'm warning you. You haven't seen what I can do. That ring doesn't make you strong. It makes you weak. I can't. Look at me. I'll help you. I'm not going back. Do you feel that? Feel my hands. Please. Please stop showing me. You okay? I'm fine. Hey, we did the right thing back there, right? Yes. Well, do you think you can, you know, help them out? Like, make them walk? Yeah, can you? It doesn't always work that way. Oh, I saw you help that little girl. Can't you just try? My power already went into him. Well, then why isn't he better? He is.
Careful. We have to go. Hey, just get some rest, okay? A surprise in store for old Marcus. You like it? I think it suits me. I'll go make us something to eat. So if I wanted to kill you, now's my chance. I'm so stupid. I can't believe I'm this stupid. What, what, what are you talking about? It was a setup. He played me. You mean Kelly? He's not who I thought he was. I'm sorry I brought you into no, this. stop. It's okay. Don't worry about it. But you have to tell me. Is he going to try something tonight? No, I'll be better in the morning. Look, can you just find somewhere to go? Somewhere safe? Just not here. He knows I'm here. No, I'm not going anywhere. We're in this together, okay? Marcus, even if you were like us, this isn't your fight. I'm staying with you. I'm begging you. Pedro, hey man. Marcus. What, uh, what's going on, buddy? Um, listen, all that stuff that went down a little while ago, uh, just forget about it, okay? <sighs> Dude, I am really sorry about what happened. I actually got fired two days after, so. <laughs> you got fired too? Man, uh, who did it? Dude, you'll never guess who I got fired by. I got fired by Jerry. <laughs> From accounting? Oh my God, you got fired by a freaking temp. That's way worse. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I deserve it though. Hey, listen, man. Um, this is gonna sound really random, but uh, didn't you used to box? Yeah, I was Golden Glove champion back when I was 12. What's going on? Uh, how soon can you get over to my place? This time of night, man. Probably like 20 minutes, give or take. Perfect. And um. Bring weapons. Now we're talking. Please don't come here. Please don't come here. Don't do this. They're good people. Please. Just tell me what I should do. The warehouse? I'll be there in 30. Nothing gets past this front door tonight. Got it? Copy that. You smell gasoline? Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, I said to make her smile, not fall in love with her. It's complicated. It always is.
Hey, Mia, you feeling better? Mia? Pedro, Mia bolted. Stay here and guard the house. I think I know where she went. Good luck, soldier. Good luck. How did you even get in here? You still listen to music at night? Block out all the screams. I know what you brought me here. Feel free to fight back. Promise me that when I'm gone, you're not gonna hurt Marcus. Grant you that one for all time's sake. You know, you didn't need to bring the kid into this. I never stood a chance against you anyway. I know. Well, why risk it? We knew each other before they found us. It doesn't have to end this way. Things can be different. I can show you. Do you really mean that? That's what I'll do. Go back. Tell him I never found you. Me and you can just go our separate ways. Bye. Butterfly. I'm sorry, my brother. I know you guys got really close there at the end. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming, though. I know this is lame. No, it's not lame. We all have to grieve in our own ways, right?
you still selling that house? Yeah. It just makes sense. I can't really afford it now. My mom said, if you want, you can come stay with us. Oh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. But I think I'm going to hit the road. You know, just clear my head. At least you don't have those shadow lurkers on you. Yeah, it seems once Mia died, they sort of lost interest, you know? Go figure. She was unusually smart, though. Everyone always underestimated her. Even me. <laughs>